It's your boy One Bad Yoda, uncle and nephew, doing some break work. On the Sunday morning. On my little girl Nissan Central. So the front pads are already done. Rotors are good, they don't need to be replaced. So we're about to do the back. So let's just uh let's talk about a pet peeve of, of ours real quick. I'm gonna sit down for this one. I'm, I'm gonna sit down for this one. You, you wanna pull up a chair? Yeah. Alright. My pet peeve is guys that don't know how to do anything. I'm talking about anything. I mean, you can walk around all day with your pants hanging down below your butt and you don't know how to do the simplest stuff. For instance, last night, I went to Old Riders to get these brake pads. It was a guy standing out there with his girl at her car, I guess. And he had the guy that worked in O'Reilly's coming out, putting the windshield wipers on her car. So you mean to tell me he couldn't do that? Come on, man. I, I don't know. This, this new generation is, is just, I don't know what to say about y'all sometimes. I mean, some of y'all don't even own a screwdriver, let alone a hammer or anything else. So simple stuff that can be done to a car, it don't make no sense for you to have to send your girl, your wife, whoever, to the store, and they got to have the guy that works in there to do it. Come on, man. Y'all got You got to be better than that. So, simple stuff, windshield wipers, battery, you know, brakes are pretty simple. Oil and, change, oil change especially. Oil change is pretty simple. You know, even adding fluids, Lord, how many people ride around with their fluids low or pretty much on zero, but they got a dude sitting at the house eating steak? Come on. Now your motor knocking like a marching band. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're mad because now you got to find somebody to fix it because somebody was too lazy just to pop the hood, which is pretty easy to do on most cars. Mm -hmm. Pop the hood and check the fluids. Check tire pressure. It ain't hard. I mean, if you really care about the one that, you know, you claim you're with and you want to help them take care of their stuff. I mean, this is just simple stuff. Simple. It, it ain't, there's no reason for you to be able to walk around, you know, you want to talk about this and that, but yet your girl, your wife, your daughter, your mom riding around in a car that's about to fall apart. Five minutes out your day, you can check the simple things, fluids, tire, etc. And you'll be good. But some of y'all too lazy for that. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Some of y'all are too lazy for that. Five so, minutes <laughs> a whole lot of money. Some of you guys think you are prettier than your woman. <laughs> so you don't want to get dirty. You don't want to get dirty. See, this, this is my daughter's car. She is, she's 19. And look at how clean this engine bay is. Look at how clean that is. That's from a 19 year old's car. 19. But yet some of you guys, man, <laughs> I'm gonna just stop trying to figure y'all out. That's what I'm gonna do. Because I'm gonna just confuse myself. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this brake job. And you know, we'll probably make another video later on today because it looks like it might be a pretty decent day outside so we're gonna finish this up and then we'll just uh see what happens next so you got anything else left to say anything any other things that simple uh let's see keep your car clean it only takes about 30 minutes to drag my car wash oh <laughs> yeah some of y'all suck at that and some of y'all are guys that suck at that. So that's really not a good look. If you're a dude and you ride around thinking you clean as a whistle and, and you, you casket ready every day, 
<laughs> I'm, I'm talking about casket ready every day. You got your fresh J's on. You got your little outfits on. Man, you, man, you, you out there, you know, you casket clean. But yet your car is filthy. Come on. Got to do better. Like a pig pen. Can't even see a football. Yeah. So, <laughs> so look, we're going to work on doing better. Everybody, we're going to work on doing better. So, so, back brakes. so we're going to go ahead and show the back brakes. It's a 2014 Nissan Sentra SR. So this will be a pretty quick job. I mean, the front was got done in about, what, 10 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, about 10 minutes between me and him. So, it ain't hard. So, we'll go ahead and... Oh, yeah. Some of you guys don't know how to change a flat. Yeah. <laughs> it's very bad. <laughs> oh. Your girlfriend got called me to change her flat tire. <laughs> yeah. That's a problem, though, buddy. And look, it's best to have your a nice floor jack. Get you a floor jack. Not that wind bucks. up crap. 80 bucks. Get you some jack stands. You know, matter of fact, I bought this in a kit for like $50. Okay. So, you know. And they, and they always on sale. Always on and sale. And it's a two and a quarter ton kit. So it's more than enough for what most of you guys out there driving. Yeah, somebody overtook one of my daughter's lug nuts, and we caught hell getting that off, but we got it off. So, only problem with that is, now you gotta go and find another one, which we use the lock caps on all the cars, so just not Tom, Dick, and Harry can come and snatch your wheels off. So, I mean, if you put forth the effort and the time and money, to put wheels on your car, you want to protect them. So you want to make sure can't nobody just come and snatch your stuff off. All right, these are pretty much the same as the front. Pretty simple. Usually a 14 on all Nissans, they might go up to a, I'd say no further than a 17. But usually 14 and 15, or you use the both sides. It would always be the two in the back, one at the top, one at the bottom. Usually come off pretty easy. Unless somebody once again over tighten them. And always make sure you, you try not to damage your brake line because it's very expensive. Very, because like, you're not going to be able to get that one. So. What size are you looking at? 4547. And that's even when you go to some of these places to get work done, man. You get some of these guys that are ready to go home. You know, they don't want to be at work anyway. So I had that happen to one of my cars. <clears throat> Messed around. It was an ES350. But, you know, thinking, you know, Toyota could do a simple oil change on the car. And they turn around and talk my wife into getting some tires on the car. <laughs> Now, now one, let's just be real. If you got a, if you got somebody at the house that take care of the cars, just go off of what they say. Don't don't worry about what the dealership says because the dealership is there to make money. Period. Exactly. 
Now, with these, especially Nissan, that's why I like them. Okay, sometimes you don't have to take that top one. If you can't get it off, don't worry about it. If you take the bottom one off, it usually just flips up. Boom. And you can pretty much hold it one hand. Usually these just slides out. That simple. And most of the time, it all depends. You can take these off if you don't have to, unless you just want to re-grease them. Me personally, you really don't have to, especially on newer cars. Now, if it's over 10 years old and it's first brake job, yeah, re-grease everything unless you want to be, okay, no, we're not going to say that. <laughs> Just re-grease it and be safe. So, back to what the Toyota dealership did to me. They over the wheels on the car. So, when I got home and drove the car, it felt like I was about to, I was making milkshakes while I was driving. So, and they were like, it's better than yours. So, I wound up taking the car to the Lexus dealership, getting the rotors resurfaced and everything. So, I wound up spending more money just because I felt like, okay, Toyota made Lexus. Let me let them do something simple because I was out of the country. And boom, they got me. But it's all good. It won't happen again. So back to the brakes. Need me to hold that? Yeah. You usually slide right back I in, no problem. And also make sure you got some brake fluid. Yeah, you're gonna need that. And make sure it's the right brake fluid for your car. It usually says it on, on the cap, so yep. if you get that wrong, then you don't need a car, just ride the bus. And then, you know, most of y'all use Google for everything anyway, so. You can't get it wrong. Now, if you go in the store and pick the wrong thing, then, yeah. There we go. If it's your first time, the best thing is when you take them off, just look at them. Make sure you put them on. I do it all the time. Sometimes I forget. Because the front and back does look alike. But it won't line up right once you try to put it on. So that pretty much tells you it's the wrong side or it needs to go on the back. Just squeeze it. Make sure it's on there. need to compress that so I get the C-clamp and compress that so uh oh you can do it <laughs> and there are special brake tubes to compress it I mean but I mean the simplest way the cheapest way is a C-clamp ten twelve dollars use Walmart Lowe's any type of hardware still has it. You don't have to go buy a hundred dollar C clamp. Just do a brake up. I mean, unless you're doing other things with it, then yeah, a good C clamp will be good. But just for something like this, ten to a buck. And just pushing that piston down, that's all. Just pushing it down. See? Push it down. Make sure it's sitting flush. So that way, when you bring it back over, Slide. it drops right over the brakes. All you do is, and usually you can still, you kind of tell, it's still kind of greasy. But if you want to be on the safe side, you just add a little bit more. And for the older cars, if you do do the brake, once you do the brake change, always buy brake cleaner. Clean your rotors and your hardware and everything. So, as you can see, this isn't hard to do at all. So, me and him double teamed the front and we got the front done in pretty much less than 10 minutes. So it was that simple. 
Yeah, it would have added a little bit more time if we would have had to replace the rotors on it. But luckily, the rotors on this car are fine. So, <clears throat> the only th the reason why it took so long this time is because we're doing a video. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and cut this off. And we're going to go ahead and finish the other side. And we'll let you guys, you know, comment, you know, if... If it's something that you guys need help finding, if we can help you find some, you know, he's pretty good at finding stuff. I'm pretty good at finding stuff. Whether it comes to car parts, car audio, home audio, we can cover it all. So just hit us up. Let us know what you think. And <clears throat> I'm going to start a little community here soon. And it's pretty much going to be veterans with cars. So I want to try to get that started up and just try to get the word out there and see how many people we can help with the things that we do. So, because remember, at the end of the day, it's about helping people, not just getting out here putting your face on the internet. So, catch you guys later. One bad yo to uncle nephew out. So, let's roll.